I mean, great win. I'm um, proud of our guys. I mean, that was it was really our, our best played game of the year. We, we did everything uh, well tonight. We jumped out early, came out ready to go, and, and swung the bat really well. Jumped out to a good lead. Dom Stagliano pitched awesome. Um, you know, we just kept putting pressure on him. Got, I mean, Andrew Braid has a huge at bat there. Uh, fights off like uh, from 0-2. Fights off some pitches. Gets to 3-2. Puts the ball in play. Make the error. And we score five runs after that. Um, huge, huge, some huge home runs by Tom and, and uh, Rowe. Obviously, there in the first, especially. So, but we played great defense. Um, and it was fun. I mean, it was good. Good to see our guys bounce back and, and really come out ready to play today. So, um, you know, I just got to duplicate it, duplicate it tomorrow. What was the plan with Dom going into it? You just kind of ride the hot hand, and because he was pitching so well. Yeah, you know, we kind of had a couple of options. We weren't really sure. We we're going to based on uh, who was going to feel good today, um, how many guys we we're going to have in the pen, um, and then kind of what the score was. And you know, we had a, a couple different options on the table. So I really, I mean, he could have gone one inning. He could have gone seven innings. We weren't really sure. Um, you know, obviously before the game, just talking to a couple of relievers that pitched on Saturday and Sunday, trying to get a feel for how they felt, and then obviously jumping out to a five-run lead. We just decided that, you know, kind of on the fly, the best option for us was to, to let him ride. So, um, but he did great. I'm proud of him. He threw really, really well. Kept him off balance, um, and threw a lot of strike. Got ahead, and um, you know, pitched pitched exceptionally well. Andrew Sunday, he had four RBIs and two homers. Yeah. He just speaks like what he's added to the lineup since he's returned and gotten healthy. Yeah, I mean, he just hits. Uh, he finds ways to get on base, whether it's a hit by pitch or walk, and you know, really he fights off pitches and, and puts them in play. He's a big, strong kid. So, just gives us another bat in the middle of the lineup, especially you know. You know, Rose been been scuffing a little bit and having moving him down, and uh, you know and Drew just going through the kind of I think the typical freshman, just learning the game and, and how to manage every at bat and, and more tape on him and stuff like that, and how to how to play that kind of cat and mouse game with the with the opponent. So he's still learning. So to have a, an older guy, you know, that, that played a lot last year, that understands, and be able to put him in the middle of the order, um, you know, really just extends our lineup a little bit. And, and as well as Bray and Joseph and McCabe have been doing, especially because they get on base a lot. And, and for Andrew to be able to get there and try to clean him, clean it up, like that's, it's another huge bat for us. Talking with John, John Rice on Sunday, he said that this team, this team needs to play better team baseball. Can you say that they did that today? Yeah, today was awesome. I mean, we just did everything right, all three phases. We were really, really good. Um, and. Uh, Really proud of the proud of everyone, but again, I, I just felt we came out from the first pitch. You know, it sure is a lot more fun to jump on a team than it is to get jumped on like like we have been. So, um, but it was a big win, big great team. Um, the, the you know Florida State, so a huge challenge for us, and really proud of the way we came out today and performed. Nick Romano broke through with the yeah. with the home run. How and how big was that as far as your team for winning? I mean, huge. I just think Nick, you know, obviously last year gets off to a great start before he gets hurt, and I you know we try to tell the kids all the time that. Everybody has this vision of how their life is going to go, how their season is going to go. Like, and you know, sometimes you can get frustrated when it doesn't go exactly the way that you had hoped or that you had planned or that you had envisioned. Um, but that doesn't change anything. You just keep showing up and keep playing the game. And, you know, I think Nick has just got a little bit frustrated and got off to a little bit slower start than he wanted. And he start he got some. And, he, and again, I, I didn't feel like he swinging the bat poorly. He had some loud outs like in weeks two and maybe three, and then then it's like, man, like I just haven't got a hit. I keep hitting the ball hard right at people, and those are the kinds of things that can just start to frust frustrate a hitter, and they start to try to do more. And then when you try to do more, then you end up doing worse. It's it, it's it's like quicksand, you know what I mean? And so I feel like I've you know talked to him a little bit the last couple of days, and just trying to get him to relax, just trust himself, trust all the work. He's old, he knows what to do. Like just go up there and put together good at bats. You keep hitting the ball hard, like they're gonna fall. And it was good to see him, you know, be able to put together a good a couple good at bats today and get a couple hits. How big was tonight? They're just frustrating games over the weekend to come back. We've got to play tomorrow, but how yeah. big was tonight for the guys? I mean, I think huge. I mean, I think to just, you know, get back on the winning side of things and, and you know, remember what playing well really, really looks like. And, um, you know, but again, it's it's one game and this, this you know, we, we've played in one big games already and it, it just, you know, this this baseball is a is a crazy sport that one one game to the next, um, you got to be able to stay focused, be ready to go. We got to come out tomorrow and win the first pitch and bring that same type of energy and, and get after it right from the get-go tomorrow. Talk about how baseball is a crazy game. 12 of your 14 runs came when there were two outs. Yeah. And again, you just kind of talk about the two outs. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. We talk a lot, a lot about take advantage of every out. There's 27 of them. Let's not give any of them away. And uh, plenty of times this year we've had nobody on and two 
two outs and scored three runs. And when you just keep showing up together, keep putting together good at bats, uh, just trust the guy behind you. Don't try to do too much. And again, Andrew Braid, I thought, had the great at bat there. Was 0 2, battles, 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 gets to 3 2, puts the ball in play. You know, again, uh, doesn't strike out, guy makes an error, and then we score five, five runs there. So, uh, I mean, just those kind of at bats, those kind of innings are really demoralizing for, another, for the other team to know that, man, we thought we, you know, they start putting one foot in the dugout already, and, and we put up some numbers like that's big. So we talk a lot about you know play till play till you get three outs. And you got one out left, you got a chance. No matter what the score is, you know just keep playing the game. And we, we did a great job of that tonight. Do you have a plan for tomorrow, pitching wise? Uh, no, I don't. So, <laughs> again, I, my plan kind of didn't go exactly how I thought I was. You know, I mean, again, I had options, so I, I'll have to get back to the drawing board and, and see what goes on and uh, make a decision. We've been in this situation before for the past couple of weeks. We win the first game. Now you got to come out and, and do it again. What do you think this team now? Third time's the charm, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we just got to worry about the first pitch. Uh, let's not focus on all the things that happened in the past, and, and but we got to be ready. Uh, we got to come out ready to play. Um, if we do that, we know we got a chance. So uh, we'll just uh, you know, get them going tomorrow before the game and, and just kind of remind them that today's a new day and we'll just go win the first one. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.